Well, right now, we're in our apartment. We're about to go into our apartment. I know that sounds confusing, but trust me. Do I have any more swords? There's still that log one. Oh, yeah, two more swords. Another, I have one more sword. Let's take that. Wait, what is this? Oh, the writing prompt. Right, right. We have three candles. Because we're going to run into a bunch of ghosts. And I mean a bunch of ghosts. Yes, enter the hall. It's sad this is on PC. I only say that because those little loading screens, those icons you see flash on the PS2 version, you'd like stretch them out using thumbsticks. Ooh, what is down there? Okay. I'm gonna keep this nearby just in case. Elaine does not look good. I'm definitely not getting a good ending. Okay. I'm beyond quiet. I'm super low. Um, if you're talking about my microphone, I don't think I can boost that anymore. Properties. How did I boost this before? Yeah, I don't know how to boost it. The game too? There was a way I boost this before. I'm trying to remember. Properties. Like offset. No, no. Properties here. Does this sound any better? <gasps> like, honestly, my microphone is literally in my mouth and volume's maxed out. This must be what hell is like. Love this. Let's turn that up. There was some way I changed <sighs> noise gain on. Hold on. I think that's what I added. Filters. Edit filters. Thanks for reminding me of that one. Gain. Done. Okay, so let's So F5.0, is that any better? You know, let me play the game a little bit. Turn the game up more. Does the game sound good too? The game is louder. Is it better? Does it need to be turned up anymore? <gasps> Look at that thing. I'm still quiet. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Let me work on this a bit more. Filters, edit filters, gain. Here, I maxed out I maxed out the gain. How is that? Is that too much? Is that too much compared to the game? That's fantastic. Okay, that's literally maxed out. Honestly, I have no idea what that thing is. Okay. So everything sounds good. We're gonna keep going. Turn the game up a tiny bit. All right, all right, let's see here. Let's put this at negative uh, properties. Desktop audio. Let's put it at 60. Now let's try this out. All right, game volume's at 60. I maxed out the microphone and the gain. The fireworks are going off. Okay, I hope this sounds better. Alright. Let's read this diary. There's a diary on the ground. Awesome, I'm glad you can hear me. That's so much better. Thanks, man. I had that weird dream today. The one with the man with the long hair and the coat. He was crying and looking for his mother again. I saw that man with the coat ten years ago at this apartment. He was going up the stairs, carrying a heavy tool, an old-looking bowl, and a bag that was dripping blood. 
I never saw him again after that, but after a few days, the neighbors complained that they heard strange noises coming from the supposedly empty room 302. Thanks, my guy. So I took a look around room 302, and I found signs that someone had been in there, but there's nothing odd other than that. But that's when it all started. I still hear strange noises coming from that window of room 302. Sunderland. Right. So I switched from the pickaxe of despair to the axe. The pickaxe of despair does a lot of damage, but it's so slow. And a lot of the enemies stop me. Versus the axe, where I can swing this thing really quick and do some pretty damage. I'm gonna, I have one healing item Henry left. Henry Townsend. Henry Townsend, yep. Let's go inside our own apartment. Jeez, there's candles everywhere. These holy candles. Yeah, there's stuff moved. Um, it's an old picture and a red book here. There once was a baby and a mother who were connected by a magical cord, but one day the cord was cut and the mother went to sleep. The baby was left all alone. But the baby made lots of friends at Wish House, and everyone was very nice to him. The baby was happy. His friends told him how to wake up his mother, so the baby went right away to go and wake her up. But the mother wouldn't wake up. No matter how he tried, she would not wake up. Because the one that he was actually trying to wake up was actually the devil. The baby had been deceived. Poor baby. The baby cried and cried when he thought of the mother. He remembered the feeling of being connected to her through the magical cord. Just then, a ray of light came down from the sky. The light was very warm and made the baby feel good. When the baby looked into his hands, he saw that the magical cord was lying there. With the cord clutched in his hand, the baby went happily to sleep. But old picture book in a way. Crimson Tome. She who is called the Holy Mother, be not holy one whit. The descent of the Holy Mother is not but the descent of the devil. Those that be called the 21 sacraments, be not sacramental one whit. The 21 sacraments be not but the 21 heresies. To give birth to a realm of wickedness within the blessed realm of our Lord, be blasphemy in the work of the devil. If thou wouldst stop the descent of the devil, you must bury part of the conjured, conjurer's mother's flesh within the conjurer's true body. Thou must also pierce the conjurer's flesh with eight spears of void, darkness, gloom, despair, temptation, source, watchfulness, and chaos. Do so, and the conjurer's unholy flesh will become that which once it was by the grace of our Lord. I think that's a hint on how to beat the boss fight at the end. This is weird. It's like I'm in my own apartment, but everything's black and white. Wait, can I go in here? The door's shut and won't open tight. Oh, the ceiling's leaking. Oh, look, there's a hole in the wall. Let me guess, that's where we have to go. No? Piece of red paper. Oh boy, there's a lot. What's with this room? It's covered in blood and rust. This is my room, but what the hell happened to it? This room, is it really my room? It's in terrible shape, and the air is so heavy, my head hurts. Creepy. Looks like a face. What the hell am I writing? August 2nd. Joseph. Piece of red paper. I can't break down the wall. August 3rd. Joseph. Okay. Piece of red paper. When the bell rings, a lean equals mother's body blood. What? August 4th. Joseph. Piece of red paper. The crimson tome. Bury the part of the conjurer's mother's flesh within the true body of the conjurer. Part of the flesh equals supper's room. Or super's room. Supervisor's. Okay. Not seeing anyone or anything. Hmm. This is weird. It's like it's my apartment, but the gate to hell. 
Why must I destroy this wall? It's the wall he's trying to destroy. Hmm. There's nothing for us to do in here at all. So I guess... Oh. Hello? Did... Oh no, what's happening? Elaine. I wish I could heal Elaine. She looks terrible. How is she still alive? Oh. It's him. You've done well to make it this far. Let me tell you something about me. Walter Solskjaer. Um. When he was a little boy, he began to believe that my heartless was actually his birth mother. He decided to free her from the stains and corruption of this world. At the orphanage, he learned of the 21 sacraments, the only way to purify her. He then performed the ceremony of the Holy Assumption and created this twisted world. Now, he's become nothing more than an inhuman killing machine. Well, he's dead now, but he's still trying to complete the 21 sacraments. His boyhood desire to return to the bosom of his earth has divided him. Now his child self has manifested itself in this world. And soon he's planning to finish his work. The 21 sacraments. Number 20. The Mother Reborn. Eileen Galvin. Number 21. The Receiver of Wisdom. Henry Townsend. Even now, it may not be too late. Follow the crimson tone. Stop If not, wherever you are. Am I missing textures? Okay. Now, what is this? Pickaxe. Take the pickaxe. Pickaxe of hope. Can't use this here? Okay. Can I use it here? Can't use this here. Why don't you if I exit the room? Come on. Oh, 
Okay. Huh. Okay, so let's go back. <laughs> I guess our only choice is to, well, go through the hole. Into the hole! Give me a moment here. Oh, I do apologize, my back is killing me right now. Work was. Huh. There's something else. Wait. Oh no. I'm scared to move around in here. We still have the pickaxe of hope. Oh. There's a hole in the wall. Okay. What was that? Everything has me jumpy. God, I hate this. Okay, that hole in the wall still exists. What if I look out again? Is anybody there? No. Okay. Um. What if we go in here? That hole's covered up. There's blood. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and save this real quick. So we have to stop Walter and kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. As the dude on the roof said. <laughs> okay. And here we go. in here. Something is making him gag. Whatever's behind this wall must have been behind this wall for a long time. Oh boy. Cinematic reveal of what? Okay, there's some sort of circle it looks like. Oh. It's Walter. Oh boy. So we need to get these spears and stab it in him. Oh god, this is in first person? Are you kidding me? Walter? No. No, I'm not investigating the pipe yet. Bowl made of obsidian. It's a bone saw. Bags of blood and things like that. I guess someone was keeping him alive and... Yes, let's investigate. Keys of Liberation. Oh. Jesus. Yeah, um, let's... Let's get out. Speaking of getting out... I can't use this here. Really? Use the keys of liberation. We're taking all these chains off. Now it says don't go out, Walter. I wonder if the child is Walter. The one that's split. Okay. Oh. 
god. What do have down here? 301. Oh god, hi! Elaine, help. Please help. This is our apartment building, but now it looks like some kind of nightmare. Okay, there's stairs that go down. I don't want to go down. Not yet. I hear something approaching. It's out here. Oh god, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? Oh god, there's another one of those things down there. I can't move. Thank you. Smack him. Smack him. Okay. Ooh. There's a medallion. I will tank the Saint medallion. Don't see anything else. So let's, um, let's go down the stairs. <laughs> I hear you. I hear something. There's definitely something in here. Not alone. Joseph. Take nutrition drink. Yes, I'm gonna use it. So I'd rather save this thing for 100% emergency. Um, before we continue, he's tired. <laughs> So anytime we need something, we have to go back to our apartment. Three oh two. Oh, this is my apartment. Let's put that away. Oh, this way's blocked off, okay. So I guess I have no choice but to go down those stairs and into that one room. These weird noises, I don't like them. Eh. Eileen. Dang it! Look here. I need you to come with me so we can keep going. Let's go. Oh crap. Is that Walter? Looks like Walter's back. So I guess we need to be careful. Why do you keep saying Joseph? Ooh. 
Yeah, so I'll grab another sword of obedience. It's broken. Can't go into that room. Can't go into that room. The kitchen has nothing. No choices to go into here. Some bloody clothes. Doors locked. Come on, I want to put Cynthia down for good this time. How many times do I have to beat you with this axe? Good lord! Thank you! God. Now she's stuck here. Won't be able to follow us. Alright, so if you're playing this game, definitely stab her in the subway. Keep her there. Okay. I'm scared to go out here because apparently Walter was out here. Walter's down there. <laughs> Get nothing out of this. Except getting shot at, because it's very accurate. Okay, so we don't want to go in this room. Is there anything in 204? No, because it's completely blocked off. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> 